It's that time of year again, everyone. Today we're going to be looking at ch common chicken stereotypes, and we're going to be busting these things today. All chickens are hens. Major cap, all chickens are actually different things, like you could be a hen, you could be a rooster. That's the thing, like, if you think that all chickens are hens, you probably live under a rock. So you know what, how about you just like, like, learn like, how to do this, so like, chickens are all hens and roosters. There isn't just hens. Hens lay eggs at a really constant rate. The record amount of eggs laid in one single day is seven, so try to top that. The average chicken lays an egg every 27 hours or so, maybe occasionally every 23, but that's very rare. And sometimes you might get a chicken that might lay two eggs in a day, but that is like a few times a year and it's not all that common. And when you have bigger numbers of chickens, it is harder to tell, but yeah, this is a common misconception. If, you th if you're getting chickens because you think they're gonna lay 20 eggs a day, the record is 7, and that was really hard to do. Chickens have absolutely no IQ. That's a major lie. Chickens can actually have similar IQ to the average middle schooler occasionally, but that is sometimes rare. A chicken usually ha has the IQ of about a young 4- or 5-year-old. While it does sound low, that is actually very high for an animal which usually falls, I think, between like 60 and 70. So that is a pretty high IQ for a chicken. So you see, chickens aren't actually that dumb because they can actually find things out at a pretty constant rate, and yeah, chickens have IQ. Roosters are always extremely rude and can be morons, and yeah, that is actually not true, like, seriously. Not all roosters are absolute morons, like, you know, Falcon, he is an absolute moron and tries to, like, kill me every second of the day, or at least it's for me. Waldo used to be pretty moronic to me, but he's not that badly, he's not that bad anymore. But yeah, not every rooster is actually that mean, and if you think that, I'd polite, I will politely ask you to go out, take a step outside and go touch some grass, you know. Hens need roosters to lay eggs. Major cap. Actually, you don't need any roosters to lay eggs, and without presence of a rooster. In fact, egg productions will actually be up without presence of a rooster, because when roosters mate with the hen, you know, that's going to cause a lot of stress, and well, what if the chicken says no? Then, like, the rooster's just going to attack more. That's basically what happened. The chickens have basically accepted their fate in the pet flocks. That's why they accept falcon at this point. And yeah, you don't actually need a rooster to have chickens lay an egg. That's only if you want to breed eggs. And even to breed eggs, if you don't want to have some pretty ugly ass choices, then what you're gonna need is you're gonna need the right type of rooster mixed in with the right type of egg colors. Finally, all chickens are the same. Look at a picture of two chickens. Do they look the same? We have Buff Warpingtons, Bard Rocks, and Easter Eggers. They look absolutely different from each other, like, completely. If you think all chickens are the same, now is the time to get rid of that 25 IQ and upgrade that to 225 IQ by learning that not every single chicken is the exact same thing. And in fact, thinking every chicken is the exact same thing is actually not as common as it used to be, but if you still think that, it's time to step up your game, sir. So yeah, those were a few common chicken myths that I hope you finally decided to bust. And yeah, if you hear anyone say these, just bust them and show them this video so that way, like, they can learn that these chicken myths a bunch of cap. <laughs> We'll <laughs>